hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel coders lobby so from today's onwards we are going to start a, a series of a google workspace or how we can utilize the google workspace using ui path so we'll going to cover all the activities whatever is available in the ui path or to deal with the google workspace we will going to see how we can use the google app script calendar docs drive uh, gmail how we can send the email how we can get all the emails or uh, how we can move the emails and uh, how we can deal with the google sheet we'll cover all these topics in upcoming videos so keep watching the channel so with this uh, first of all in today's video we'll see how and what are the setups we have to do in the google workspace to utilize uh, these functions using ui path so with this let's move to the chrome and there first of all we have to navigate to this url console.cloud.google.com once you will navigate over here it will land you to this page from this page you have to go api and services from there okay uh, we landed over here so from here first of all we have to create the project so we will have to give the name of the project so let's say demo or ui path google workspace demo later we can't change this name so let's hit on the create button with this the project has been created now we have to go to the credential section of this page here we have to create the credential uh, so there are three types of authentication either the uh, api key authentication oauth authentication and the service account authentication so some of the active most of the activities supports oauth authentication or the service account authentication there are very few activities which supports the api key authentication so let's say we will create the oauth authentication so for that we'll click on oauth client id as soon as we'll click on the uh, oauth client id will land it over here here we have to do the configuration of consent screen so let's click on that button and just wait for a few moment here we have to click the external then hit create and here we have to give the name of our application so let's say we will give it as uh, ui path google workspace app all right here we have to select the account for the support uh, wherever if some issues will happen with the uh, with this project and uh, anyone are going to change something in the project it will uh, send the reminder to this email id and let's and here we have to give some the email id for the developer content so let's say we'll give here the same email account once the email id has been entered let's hit on the save and continue after that we have to define the scope so nothing has to be done over here nothing has to be done over here as well so with this it is done now let's go back to the dashboard okay this is the consent screen has been created now let's again go to the credential and we'll again hit on the oauth here we'll select the desktop app let's select the app name as ui path google workspace app and let's hit on the create button with this our client id and client secret has been created and we have to download this json key we'll download it over here let's hit on the save button our key has been downloaded and now let's see how we can create the service account as well okay instead of okay hit on the create service account so here we have to enter the service account name so let's say ui path google workspace service account so this is the service account id let's hit on the create and continue and here we can select the role so let's say the current current role is owner so we'll continue with that we can add the uh, some roles over there as well so we can leave it plain just hit on the done so with this the service account is created as well so we can use this service account for the uh, authentication as well so now with this let's 
go to that page again here in the credential section we can see there are two uh, authentication has been done over the authentication key has been created service account has been created now let's see how we can uh, create the api key so with, for that we'll go here and we can directly generate the api key so this is the api key to deal some of the uh, functions available in the google workspace so this api key we can use i hope now you are cleared how we can generate the different different credentials to deal with the google workspace in ui path so in the upcoming videos we'll uh, create the videos whatever the functions are available in ui path to deal with the google workspace with this let's wrap up and i hope you enjoyed this video if this is the case please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press on the bell icon so that you don't miss any update whenever we post the new videos to our channel you will get the notification first